Hi Wax Friends, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video for you. I have a Walmart wax order. A lot of people have been talking about Walmart wax lately and I decided just to jump in and uh, make a big order. They had some really nice new scents out. I used to do Walmart wax a lot and when I got into Fender wax, I pretty much just stopped. I don't know why because I really like Walmart wax. It's always done well for me. Now this is the second time recording this video. Um, these clamshells, some of them are in there tight and one was in there so tight and my arms went like this and I was 19 minutes into the video and everything blew all over. I should have just stood up, picked them up, but I didn't. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start this over <laughs> and maybe, maybe it won't take 19 minutes to get three quarters of the way done. Um, but anyway, so, okay, I did some Black Friday dollar clams, and I've got those over here. I'm going to do those last, um, and then I placed some online orders, and everything has just been coming to me the last couple days. I still have one scent that I don't have, and I think it is a peppermint, a new one. Um, I don't even know what it is, I, but I think it's like a peppermint buttercream or a peppermint vanilla, something like that. I don't know, but I'll add that into another video later. So I'm going to start off with sugar cookie and buttercream. And this one, when I took it out of the clamshell, broke into a bunch of pieces. So I'm just going to go like this and hold it up. But this one is sugar cookies, buttercream, vanilla bean, orange zest, and sugar crystal notes. And this is freaking amazing. This is so good. I got three of them. I wish I would have got more. I'm going to have to put this in uh, a poly pro bag because it did. It just, it busted in a hundred pieces, but this is really good. I'm really excited about having that one. It, it smells like a really good buttercream. Okay. Then let's see. I got two of these passion fruit banana, a little out of season, but it was there. So I, I got it. This is in the fruit category from sensationals and it smells like a, like a mango daiquiri is exactly what it smells like to me. Really tropical and it does smell like it would really flow. <laughs> Here I go again. I got two of the wild berry cheesecake, um, blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, sugar, lemon zest, and cheesecake scent notes. This is really good. I have had this before and I think it's just a really strong blueberry, blackberry, strawberry, you know, that mixed berry scent, super strong. Um, I definitely get the lemon zest, which you get a lot in cheesecake. So yeah, I think this one's really good. I probably should have got more than two. I picked up a five pack of their new one. That's the farmhouse cookies. This says apple, absolutely delicious. Now to me, oh, I do have some scent notes on this one. It's fruity apples, spice, cinnamon, sweet cloves, and vanilla cookie. I think this one smells a little bit like St. Nickerdoodle from from Scentsy and I've heard people say that St. Nickerdoodle smells like the popular um, apple butter frosting. I've not got to smell that one yet. I'm hoping it comes back but um, but yeah I think this smells like St. Nickerdoodle. It's just a cinnamon apple bakery goodness so I like this one. I got five of those. Um, I picked up two Fireside Fur and Amber from Better Homes and Gardens. This is a new one for me too. Smoked Fur, White Birch, Suede, Teakwood, White Amber, and Cypress. Um, I definitely get the Teakwood. I, I get the White Birch, I think, and the smoke, smokiness. And the fur. I do get a tree note, which I guess that could be the birch too, right? I think, no, this is not the one that... No, I didn't. I'm not going to take that one out. It's in there pretty tight, too. But that's a really nice one. Um, I grabbed one, and I can't figure this out. Pumpkin cream and marshmallow. And I do think that I've had this one before. It says it's a marshmallow world. It's a limited edition. It's a bakery category. And this one is a, um, yeah, it's a sweet pumpkin. I'm going to really try not to destroy this again yeah it's I get some I get some cinnamon and pumpkin in here it's nice 
Why I only got one, I don't know. I can't explain that. This is the one that destroyed everything. I got two Better Homes and Gardens Sugared Plum and Pomegranate. Sugared Plum, Pink Pomegranate, Fig, Clove, Cedarwood, and Patchouli. Yeah, because see, I, I broke it and it's cracked. And I will say these clamshells, can you see how they're dipped? There wasn't a lot of care taken when they made these these clams, but I, this I'm not even gonna try. This is good. Um, I definitely get that patchouli mixed with that plum. I like this, I like this a lot. I wish I would've gotten more. How many times am I gonna say that in this video? I got two caramel and bread pudding from Better Homes and Gardens. I think I've had this one before. Caramel bread, butter, nutmeg, cinnamon, dark vanilla, and brown sugar scent notes. Yeah, this is just a really uh, sweet, this one isn't going to want to come out either. Oh, yes, it is. Really sweet caramel. Yeah, it smells to me like butter cooking on the stove, you know, when you brown butter. Get some nutmeg and cinnamon in there. That's a nice one. I got two creamy pumpkin. Um, I don't have scent notes. This one is in the bakery category. This one is light. Let's see here. Yeah, this one is light. This one on the bottom, it smells like fresh pumpkin. Not real sweet. It's just really like pumpkin guts. No cinnamon sugar, nothing like that. So I don't know how that one is gonna throw because it's really light. I grabbed two apple and spice pound cake from Better Homes and Gardens. I don't think I've had this one before either. Nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, apple, pound cake, and brown sugar. <laughs> I just got a whiff of buttered popcorn. Now here, I definitely get the apple, the clove, some brown sugar. I think I might like this one. Yeah, I like that one. what I get? I got two of those. And I got two roasted chestnut and acorns. Fire roasted chestnut, acorn, gingered pumpkin, hickory, maple, and tonka. Uh, definitely get the fire roasted chestnuts. Um, and I think that's hickory. I think I get some hickory. I really get a smokiness to this one. I really like this one. I think this would be, well, I don't know exactly what I would mix it with, but I think this one might be good with something fruity. This is really nice. Really, really good. Okay, I grabbed 10, two five packs of lemon blueberry donuts from Sensational. I have not seen this in a Walmart in I don't know how long. And I really, really like this. And if this throws well, this just might have to be my go-to blueberry lemon combo. Yeah, I really like this. And it, it does, it smells like a lemon blueberry donut. Mm, just wonderful, and I have 10, so let's hope I like it. I got one lone salted caramel buttercream. I don't know what um, came over me there, unless I thought I was just gonna use this as a blender. This is in the bakery category, of course. Yeah, I get um, salted butter, salted caramel. It's weird. Um, definitely, you know, this um, sugar cookie buttercream, the first one I talked about, it is really sugar cookie heavy, actually. This one is so much stronger than this one. And there went my computer screens again. But it's good. Okay, I grabbed two from Sensational Soft Chewy Snickerdoodles. Um, yeah, this just smells like a cinnamon sugar kind of cookie. Yeah, this is definitely 
a soft cinnamon cookie. Snickerdoodles sound great. My mother-in-law makes snickerdoodles every year for us at Christmas. I got two salted caramel and macaron from Better Homes and Gardens. This is salted caramel, brown sugar, maple, butterscotch, vanilla cream, and sea salt. One's kind of, oh, this one is in there tough. I want to get it out because I really can't smell a lot on top. Yeah, this one is underwhelming. I definitely get the caramel, maybe a little bit of the maple, but it's not strong at all in the clam. Okay. I got one peppered lavender and cedar. I think this one's a new one. Lavender, peppercorn, cedarwood, amber, and bergamot. At least it's new to me. Oh, this is super, super pretty. Oh, this will be great. And yeah, this one's in there pretty tight. This one is really, really pretty. This one is going to be great in a bedroom. I grabbed one sugared lavender twist. I know this is a popular one. Raspberries, orange, red fig, pink sugar, vanilla orchid, lavender, vanilla sugar, and amber. And this one is, this is pretty. What do I, what am I getting? Oh gosh, these are not working with me. My desk is going to be a mess. Yeah, this is kind of a perfumey. Oh, I get the fig. That's fig I'm smelling. Yeah, it's just all those notes together make this really pretty lavender and fig type smell. Definitely for a bedroom or bathroom which is probably why I only got one. Then I grabbed three of these big clams, two, four, six, they have eight, eight little um, cubes. And I got three of them in lavender and lattes. It's lavender, coffee, latte froth, coconut milk, whipped cream, and vanilla. Really weird. And on cold, that's super light. I really honestly can't smell anything on top. Um, I smell lavender, obviously. Um, maybe some vanilla. I really don't get any coffee. I'm really not getting a lot out of this on cold. So I'm hoping that when it, when it melts, the coffee will come out. Cause that's really interesting. Did I just get some vendor wax maybe that was lavender and coffee together? For some reason, I'm thinking I might've. Don't know. Anyway, okay, so now let's get into the Black Friday dollar wax, and I'll try to go through these fast. Um, I don't have scent notes on a lot of them, and in the video that I started doing before, I was actually looking some scent notes up, but I'm not going to do that now. So I got one in Sparkle from Sensationals, and these are all Sensationals that were a dollar, and Sparkle is in the fruit category, and that's what it smells like. It smells like an orange or tangerine type fruity bar. It's good. I picked up one Imagine and it has, says blushed magnolia and citrus underneath the, the name. And this one, um, this one is nice. This one, it would be nice for a bedroom bathroom. It smells really familiar. I've smelled something that smells like this. I think it's it's that magnolia that I'm smelling that's familiar to me. But it's just a really pretty floral. It would be nice. Alluring. Mahogany, bergamot, and amber. Yeah, I love this one. This is flannel. This smells like a flannel dupe to me. Oh, my gosh. I've definitely got to get more of these. It smells just like a Bath and Body Works flannel. So if you like that candle, try Alluring. I grabbed four caramel apple spice. I grabbed four of some of these that I, I don't understand why I ordered the way I did. Now granted, these were only a dollar, so maybe that's why I ordered more. Um, this is in the fruit category, and I am I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon and a caramel apple. 
So this is nice. Yeah, it's, it's a nice caramel apple scent. I grabbed four warm apple pies. Uh, this is in the bakery category. Oh, these, these bars, they are something else. They are brittle and they, they do, they look, they just look like they've been beat to death. They're just, they look old. I mean, they look like they're years and years old. Um, this is a good apple pie. I It smells exactly like it says. Uh, I got two Marshmallow Krispies, and I know this is a really popular one. And this one is in the bakery category, and it smells like Fruity Pebbles. It is a really good sweet cereal scent. Yep. I'm not sure that I've ever melted this one. This one's been around a while, but I don't know if I've ever had it. I grabbed one Heavenly. Uh, no scent notes on this one, but this one is a really pretty floral. It's a soft floral. Um, I don't know what that is. I wish I knew what that flower was. This would be a really nice body care line. It's not so floral that you're like, you know, some of those florals, but um, it's just, it's really a sweet floral. I like this one a lot, actually. I grabbed two cereal cakes. Now I have scent notes on this one. It's whipped cream, mango, raspberry sugar, no, raspberry, sugar cane, and fruit syrup. Um, I was watching Kentucky Wax Girl, I believe. She did a haul and she had this one and she was like, why do they call this cereal cake? What does this have to do with cereal? And she's right. Um, yeah, it doesn't smell anything like cereal. Yeah, it's just a sweet raspberry sugary scent. It's nice. I don't know how, how high that's going to throw though. I grabbed two candy cane ice creams. And um, I did look the notes up on this one. And of course it's peppermint and it has a white mocha in it. And I can smell a chocolate note to this one. Yeah, I get a, almost like a peppermint mocha is what I smell in this one. It's also in the bakery category. It's nice, I like it. I grabbed four of the farmhouse plaids and it says, oh so cozy. This one to me um, smells like a lighter version of that alluring. I get some flannel, some Bath and Body Works flannel in this one. But it's not, let me find that one. It's not as strong. This is in the wood category. And alluring is in the wood category. I, I don't know. Are they trying to play a trick on us? I think these are super similar, like really, really similar. And they're both good. So I will like having those. I got three Merry Mochas. This is in the bakery category as well. Um, yeah, I get a, I don't know if there's supposed to be some mint in this or not. But it's definitely a mocha scent. It's not as, it's definitely not as in your face as like hugging a mug or mocha doodle from Scentsy. It seems lighter than those. Um, but we'll see. I'll enjoy it. I got one Bubbles. Uh, bubbles is in the fresh category and it smells like is it Snuggle? It smells like fabric softener. I do like laundry blends. Um, Enchanted. Now this one says blackberry and patchouli underneath it. I don't get any of those notes. And I actually looked the, and this is a floral. This smells soapy to me. I don't get anything like, like 
I know blackberry and patchouli in the vendor wax world. Um, this one is not going to be my favorite. On the bottom, I kind of get um, some really strong body care, almost, um, I don't, I don't want to say old lady-ish. What you think of as old lady-ish type perfumes. I grabbed two frosted cinnamon cookie. This is just a nice, sweet cinnamon sugar type cookie bakery note. Yeah, and it is in the bakery category. I grabbed two Honeycrisp Cider. And this is in the fruit category. So you got an, an apple cider note. That's I smell apple cider right here. It's okay. Just your basic apple cider. I grabbed two of the Warm Cottage. This is in the wood category, and I think this is beautiful. This will be a favorite of Brad. He will love this. I'll melt this probably exclusively in the basement when he's down there. This is right up his alley. I think there's some amber in this. Oh, it's super, super pretty. And you just want to, I can just see him down there. We got a new TV in the basement. We had, um, I think we had a 55 down there, and so we got a 70. Uh, Black Friday sale. So we've got that all hooked up and yeah, we've got a really nice sectional down there that has, we got the sectional and it is everybody's favorite place to sleep. We've, we've had it since 2015 probably. And I mean, the kids, when the kids would have people sleep over, they didn't want to sleep in a bed. They wanted that couch. It's, it's amazing. It's the best. The entire thing is the best seat in the house. It's wonderful. I grabbed two winter weekends, and this is in the fresh category, and this is okay. It's really, um, it smells familiar to me too, and I wish I knew what this smelled like. Is it, maybe some, some kind of drugstore uh, body wash that my mom had back in the day. It's kind of taken me back to the bathroom in the house I grew up in. So that's what it's kind of taken me back to. So that's definitely, um, I don't know if I would, I got two of these because I was thinking this would be an open concept type of bar, but I, I don't know about that. It's, it's really kind of soapy. And then I got two cranberry orange. And this is nice. It's in the bakery category as well. And it is just a, cranberry orange with like a pie crust note or a some kind of bready note going on there really nice I like that so that is my big Walmart wax type haul and actually I was on the sensationals website it's a little more expensive to order from them I think they're $2.99 opposed to the two dollars but they've got a ton of scents um but I'm really trying hard to not place any more orders this year. I, I'm, I'm working on it, guys. I am working on coming up with some rules for myself. Not for a no buy because I can't do it. And I'm not setting myself up to fail. But I'm, I'm thinking about a low buy of some sort. So I still haven't come up with all my rules to when and why and what I can purchase. But I definitely have to do something. So I wanted to, to tell you, and this is the reason why. I have to do something. So I, I've said before, I keep all my wax in a spreadsheet, right? So I went through the spreadsheet today and this does not include any of this Walmart wax. Um, and it, it obviously doesn't include any of the pre-orders or the RTSs that I still have out. So I will update this and give a final number at the end of December of what I have left in my collection. So what I did is I counted everything as one, whether it's a sample, a clam, a loaf, a brittle, it's, that's a candle, it doesn't matter the size, they're one. And I know 
Uh, before I give you the number, I know that I have two, two bags of samples from L3 that I just spaced out and I did not get them logged into my, my spreadsheet. Now I have been melting a lot of them, but I know probably I still have probably half of them left. So they're not in my spreadsheet. Okay. So remember everything is one. This would be one, but none of, none of these are in there. A loaf would be one. I have 1,899 items. So, something has to be done. That's outrageous. What am I going to do with that? You know, that's crazy. I got to draw the line somewhere. So, like I said, I'm going to get all this stuff inventoried and then um, I should have everything but the end of the year, by the end of the year, except my Super Tarts Wax Wednesday order. I think, I think I should have everything else. So that will be the only thing outstanding. So at the end of the year, I'll give a final tally of what I have. So, okay. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you, um, I hope y'all had a good start to your week and thanks for sticking with me in this 26 minute video. So I'll get off here now. So thanks a lot. Bye.